Hi everyone. So, I'm going to be continuing the series in this video, but I'm going to be making some adjustments. So, just like if you've read my blog I did yesterday, uh, what I wrote, then you'll understand why I'm doing this shift, where I'm going to be actually shifting this to make it more just educational series, not early educational, meaning it's going to be for just everyone, adults as well. Um, or not just let's say focus on uh, kids only. So, you know, when I'm be talking, it's just going to be in general. It's not going to be necessarily with kids only, but, you know, even adults uh, can relate to examples from their childhood, you know. So it's just going to be in a more general sense because, like I talked about my blog, every person who, like every child needs that one person who is their example standing within one is an equality and that example has to be an adult because only adults are able to raise for care for children that's just how things are <laughs> for many reasons but i think that's how reality is you know so it's going to be through the adult assisting supporting the adults to change that's how we're going to actually you know, be able to assist and support children to change. So that's going to be the primary uh, vehicle, avenue. So this is going to be just general educational, and I'm still going to be doing the one of the quality examples. Now, I saw that, I watched my video yesterday, and I saw how in explaining the pain point when you've hurt yourself, that I could explain more and it would be good to do a few videos, maybe like three, I don't know, just enough where it, it, I feel like I explained the point, cover all the dimensions. So this video, I'm going to continue with that point, like, um, you know, I framed it yesterday, if, what happens if a child falls down and they hurt themselves. So you can, I'll explain it in a different perspective and with more dimensions. So here we go. So just like that example, um, any time that you hurt yourself, whether it may be you burnt yourself uh, frying something in the frying pan, maybe you grabbed a hot pot by your bare hands or a hot tray and you burnt yourself, or if you got sunburn, or if you hurt yourself um, doing some sort of construction, like with hammering the nails, you hurt your head with a nail or with a hammer or you hit your knee, you hit your leg against the table or nightstand or you bumped your toe or any of these things or you fall down. So when you experience that pain, there's two things. Like I said yesterday, pain is a response that tells you something important. So it's, if you didn't have pain at all, and humans would go ahead, bump their legs, bump their knees, and not care. And they would get bruises. And maybe that wouldn't seem like a big deal, but wait until it escalates. Wait until you start falling off objects because you're like, okay, well, it doesn't matter. I can take risks. And then you start breaking bones. Breaking a bone, then, then becomes more in your face, right? Your bone's broken. You're not going to be able to use the the arm or the leg or whatever part of the body really effectively at all, you know. Like if your arm breaks, you can't really use your arm. And yes, it may feel no pain, true, but you lose your ability to use your arm and you have to wait to heal. And how do you know what is actually healed if you're not able to really feel the pain, you know, the absence of pain. So even pain tells you when something is actually healed too. So, without pain, human beings would injure themselves and may not even notice it. They may have a, a cut and they're bleeding, they may not even notice it. You know, they may allow themselves to get infected and they may not even notice it because they don't feel the pain. So pain, first of all, is a support, is a good thing. So when you hurt yourself within that pain, 
the first thing to let go of is that judgment of pain is bad, the, let go of the fear of pain, and one thing you can do within oneness and equality is when you experience a pain, you enter into your body and you just feel the pain. With your entire awareness, with your entire presence, with your entire attention, just feel it. And not move. Simply be here. Like let's say you cut yourself on the arm or you feel a pain. You just close, you know, you can close your eyes and just feel it. Become aware of it. You know, it's not about looking at it with your eyes, of course. It's about your awareness, which has nothing to do with your eyes, really. It's just you feel your body, you feel the tissue, you feel the area, and you just feel the pain. You know, and then you realize the word pain and what pain is, it's not bad. And when we make a polarity judgment that pain is bad, that's actually a lie because pain just is, it just exists. It's just another sensation of the world. It's just something that you experience. And you can feel it. Become aware of it. And within doing so, that actually allows you to heal better, heal faster. Because when you start reacting emotionally, that actually creates a an artificial pain, a superficial pain, a pain that doesn't actually need to exist. And that is, let's say, emotional pain, where you're crying and fear and sadness. And that actually, it would be the same thing as as causing, more, let's say, more harm to your body because the reason why I felt, feel pain is because harm has been done to your body, but the harm that was done, whether it's sunburn or cut, it's done. The harm has been done, right? But when you're being emotional and reacting in sadness and fear, or whatever it may be, it's like you're continuously harming yourself, like as if maybe like a knife or a needle and you keep poking yourself over and over again, over and over again, pain, 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 pain. And this all being the fear of pain. And that harm does cause harm to your body. It does cause, um, in a way, harm to yourself and to your being because, first of all, it's not real yet. It's consuming your awareness, consuming your time, consuming your presence, consuming who you are. And you're losing that ability to be real, be here, decide who you are, and create who you are. So, pain as a physical pain is nothing to react about. The only concern you should have is whether you are reacting to physical pain because that reacting is something you can stop. You can, let's say, control. You can decide to stop. And then once you stop, then you realize, okay, I can just be here in this body and breathe and just feel what's going on in my body. And that actually gives you an awareness, information that you can use to assist and support yourself better. You can then start looking the world creatively and saying, okay, how can I help myself? What can I do? Like with sunburn, <clears throat> you use aloe vera, which I found to be the most effective um, a substance for sunburn, where it actually help you heal faster. Um, with cuts, you always have to disinfect it, take care of it, and bandage it, keep it moist, and let it heal over time. And there's various different substances you can use to help with that. There's ointments you can buy from a store, but there's also natural substances, like even aloe vera can help, or some older techniques included honey. <laughs> so if you're in a situation where you're outside of, let's say, the store in the wilderness, you know, there's different techniques you can use to help yourself. So you can do a whole educational point about that. 
do research, learn about different techniques for um, dressing a wound. <clears throat> um, when you bump yourself and you feel a bruise, you can do research to understand that when you bump yourself, your blood vessels kind of explode in a way. They sort of rupture a little bit and some of the blood escapes. Um, and what your body does, it releases constantly coagulants, which allow the blood to thicken and so close the holes in the arteries and the veins. And the veins, arteries, if you don't know, they're like tunnels, like little tunnels that go. Tunnels, tunnels, tunnels. And so it repairs the holes in the tunnels. And the body will remove the, let's say, escaped blood, the loose blood, the spilled blood inside. And that's it. It just takes some time. And the pain is from the pressure, right? And from some of the damage. So, same thing with broken bones. Um, you just have to get it set back in place. That would usually require a specialist, a doctor, uh, and put a cast on it. So, yeah. There's also a point of freedom there that when you no longer have any of that, let's say fear, pain, that no longer influences your decisions as a point of reaction. Because there's a point there where you will do things or not do things, avoid things because of the fear of pain. And that really limits your life. That limits your decisions, that limits your experiences. And that can be as well emotional pain, not just physical pain. Remember, the physical pain the reason why you're afraid of it, I mean, is because it's being racked to emotional pain. So you then, it's really the point of emotional pain, emotional reaction. That is the thing that needs to be worked with. So you can imagine maybe you wouldn't go after certain relationships or certain friendships, or you wouldn't be willing to dance in a dance floor you know, in public, because you're afraid of what other people will think, and so you're afraid of that emotional pain of embarrassment, or you're afraid of trying something new, eating some new food, doing this or that, you can imagine, like anything, if you're unwilling to do something, then that means you're unwilling to, in a way, you're afraid or expecting there to be some sort of emotional pain there because you're afraid of a certain outcome and what's interesting is that you're creating it you actually create the emotional pain it's not really something that exists naturally it's not something that actually exists in the physical world in the physical realm it only exists within you as your creation as your reaction to something that is physical and real. And what's interesting is the more time you spend with physical things, the more time you spend with yourself physically dancing, the more time you spend yourself physically eating a food, being in the presence of the taste, the more time you spend being in the physical presence of other people, the more time you spend yourself being physical, being here, the more you realize that this emotional pain is my creation and it doesn't need to exist. You can even look at things which may be controversial, things which are only images on a screen, are only sounds where you realize, okay, am I actually being physically moved? Is really something physical? We'll leave that to another video. That's something to consider. 
or how an image, image of something, how that moves you. Whether it's an image on the screen, or with your eyes you see images of the world, how that moves you. Does it really need to? But we'll see more about that perhaps next time. So that's on this topic of pain, and we'll see. Thank you very much. Bye.